So what is AHA? Uh -huh? My wife has this cookbook at home. It's called the Three Ingredient Cookbook. She wouldn't want me to tell you that she uses this because she typically does cook with more than three ingredients at a time. The truth is, it's my cookbook. On the rare occasion I'm allowed in the kitchen, this is my go-to cooking companion because, you know, honestly, three ingredients, that's about my capacity. And one of the things I've learned uh, the hard way with this cookbook is that all three ingredients are necessary. If you try to cheat it, it doesn't work out. If you try to go with two instead of three, it's not gonna taste right. The same is true with AHA. There are three ingredients, all of them are necessary. And as I've listened to hundreds, if not thousands of stories over the years, and as I've studied the AHA moments in scripture, I've just found that consistently there are always three ingredients. The first is awakening. It's this moment where you suddenly realize the truth about something you hadn't seen before. The second ingredient is honesty. This is where you tell yourself the truth about your situation, your life. The third ingredient is action. That's where you do something that the awakening and the honesty leads to some kind of change. And I noticed that awakening, honesty, action, they form an acronym, AHA. All three ingredients are necessary. But when one of those ingredients isn't there, it doesn't work out. Aha doesn't happen. All three are needed. And when all three come together, it can really make a life-changing difference.